Hi guys, I'm Nimi Melvin here from Nimi's Art. Today I'll show you how to draw Olaf and how to make a cool background with it. We need materials like canvas or canvas paper, some acrylic paints, pencil eraser and a glass of water for mixing the colors and also a paper towel. So let's start our sketchy. First I'm going to draw a small curve. So this is the axis of the body. So we're going to start from this point. First, let's do a, an oval shape. Then we have to draw a triangle kind of shape. Then one small oval. Then a big oval. Then two ovals for the legs. Then I'm going to start our detailing from the top. First we'll start with the head. So we have an oval shape and I'm going to erase this line. Just make this triangle shape curved at the corners. Then we have to draw a triangle shape, a long pointy triangle shape for the nose. Then we can draw a curve, this is for the mouth, then one more curve just below it and the rectangle shape inside for the teeth. Now we can draw two circles, no two ovals for the eyes. Then he is looking up in the sky with two curves for the eyebrows and some curves for the hair and here we have to do a small detail so we have to draw this curve here and it's better to draw this eye closer to this line then we can darken these lines let's do some circle for the black buttons And some lines for the hand and then we can draw a light in his hand so I'm going to make this line a little bit more curved and I'm going to add a small oval shape here with the light on his hand a triangle shape and a trapezoid like this so we have completed the drawing now we can start our painting I'm going to take some purple color and cobalt blue for the sky. So let's start with the dark purple. I have completed one layer of violet color so this is kind of dry now I'm going to do one more layer of same color and I'm going to add a little bit of white also into it to make it more opaque So we have done two layers of purple paint. Now I'm going to use some blue also into it. A little bit of blue, purple and just one touch of white. And I'm going to paint this on the bottom part of the sky.
and more purple plus a little bit of white on the top part. And I'm going to do the same color so dark purple plus blue plus a little bit of white for the background so this color is only for the shadow area and after that I'm going to take some white and I'm going to make this on the other areas of the background more white on this area so we have completed the base and the sky now we can start painting color and I'm going to start with blue color so we need some blue and white so these lighter blue is going to be the shallow areas on color I have completed an outline of lighter blue on the right side of the snowman. Now we have to take some white and then blend on the blue. So we're getting softer edges of the lighter blue shadow. I'm blending into the lighter blue to get a nice gradient that will soften the edges of the shadow too. So you can do two three times to get the correct result. This blue I'm going to up apply again with another brush. You can move the brush in that oval shape so according to that curve. Now I'm going to take a little bit of blue and black together and this color is for the mouth. And then we can take some lighter blue for outlining the eye. Now we can take black color for the eye, for the eyeball. Then we have to give an outline of the eye. white color inside the eye.
and we have to give a small dot with white color and eyebrow with black color you can use black sharpie or brush for drawing the eyebrow and the hairs are also there we have to give two three lines for the hair so you can use a sharpie or a brush for this one too and this so with this hand Olaf is holding the lamb so we can give a line from this to the body so we don't need to draw different different uh, you know separate fingers just a um, just one straight line and then a small circle is enough and i'm going to do one more layer of the same color here so uh, we have to give a lighter gray shade also for the hair because otherwise we can't see the hair properly the background is dark the hair is also dark so we can't see it so that's why i'm giving a grayish line on the sides of the hair so finally we can do one more thin line of blue on the sides of the body Then you can give white paint for the teeth too. The eyes look a little bit dark, so I'm going to give one more layer of white. So we have complete almost the colors of the Olaf. Now we can do the nose with some orange and yellow color. And the same color you can use for the lamp too.
so let's take them let's take some orange color then this to an outline for the triangle shape then we can mix some yellow into the orange color any yellow I'm taking some medium yellow and then we can mix it into the orange and then we can apply in the that triangle shape finally you can take some white and mix it into the yellow and orange combination so we are getting a very light tone yellowish tone and this one is for the the center of this triangle shape the carrot so you can do some dots and dashes in the center with this, this color so likewise we, we have to take some orange for the lamp first you can do the outline then mix some yellow into the orange and then we can apply this in the center of the lamp then we have to take the lighter tones yellow plus white and this is for the center some more things with black color so take some black you have to be very careful when you use the black because black is really dark very concentrated color so just take black carefully and then do the outline first and then you can fill this triangle shape of the lamp actually this black will make this orange very beautiful you can do the outline also with the black color if the black is blending into the orange you can do that later you can do the outline later when it is dry the next thing I'm going to show you a different and you know, additional thing you can add. So take some white and mix with the yellow color. So we have more white and less yellow. So this is very light tone and you can do it on the sides of the hola. So this color. So it's like a, you know, the light from the lamp is falling on the body of the hola. So without this, also it will look pretty. It is difficult you can skip this one this is just white and yellow color and last thing we have to do the black buttons on the body so it's not a perfect circle or oval you can just do a random shape and a lighter blue shadow on the sides of the button too the right side and to make our painting beautiful you can do many layers of the shadow and just keep doing until you are happy with the result 
and I'm keep doing these shadows. So each time when I do, it will become beautiful. It's a white highlight on the sides of the mouth. And also I'm going to do a little bit of lighter, very light blue on the sides of the cheek. Like a reflected light. And I'm going to make the shadow more bluish so the first layer is over and if you want to make this more bluish you can do that anytime we can do that lighter yellowish tone on the land also on the snow also so here you can do that light yellow light spreading on the snow and a bit of lighter tone on the sides of the I'm, I'm using a dry brush technique here I'm not using water I'm kind of scrubbing this paint to the the lighter purple tone so we're getting a nice result actually the texture is looks so pretty so without too much water we can do that and also make sure the the layer beneath it is completely dry so this looks so good we can add stars into the sky so the stars you can use the same yellow color small small circles And finally, I'm going to add a firework into the sky. So, with uh, any color, you can use, do this. So, I'm taking some pink color. So, I'm adding some white into the red color to make a pink color. And this is going to be the color for the fireworks. So, this is also beautiful. And if you want to add more things, you can add a fireworks especially during this new year time so just put dot and then you can wipe with the finger so i have put several dots drag this one into the center of this circle I'm taking more dark color and each time I'm just spreading that color into the center of that you know, the circle I'm going to do another 
with a light lavender color it's a small one so first mix some purple and white together if you want to put a small you can put it here that should be lighter than the skull sky color of the sky and you have to do dots in circles so you can use any color for this now we can do the same thing and your finger has to be clean then just drag this dots into the center one by one and wipe your fingers clean and then you do the next layer You can take some blue then spread it with your finger around the slide this will give a nice blue light emitting from the lamp so we have completed our painting i hope you enjoyed doing this cute painting thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video